Marty Lampkin and Wayne Braybrook there having a butty. And a look at Wayne's bike. Onto the trial itself. Graham Jarvis there. And Bruno telling Chris how to do it. So Graham in the section. Dropping down. And Steve Saunders there who was minder for John Shirt. Graham Jarvis has lined himself up. Ready to attack the climb. Very steep this but Quite a lot of grip. And now Chris Kamazi. Making that bit look easy. Frenchman Gilles Seaman here. Showing a good bit of style there. And Wayne. Trying to line himself up. And up that bit, no problem. And local Geordie Piccola fighting his way to the ends there. And Steve Saunders telling John Shirt just how it should be done. Manages to carry it up for a dab before lining himself up for the next bit. Nearly kicked Saunders there with his leg waving. Steve telling him he can come over a bit more if he wants, but he seems happy where he is. Finds third gear. And no problems for Shirty either. Panicott here. One of the main contenders for the championship. And Dougie, the main contender for the championship. Martin will be standing near the edge of the section, giving him instructions here. And if Mark says you lined up properly, you can bet you lined up properly. Giving Dougie every encouragement he possibly can. Some of the riders find it amusing. This is Hawes Hoffman on his Fantic, fighting his way down. Very difficult to get down off this step, and well, a one or a two or a and the observer's given him a five and he's not very happy. He's not going to get much change out of him. And somebody else just showing just how difficult the drop-in is. And Benitez here, another of the contenders for the championship. He's dropped it in there, just taking a dab, which is pretty good so far. And the last turn out is catching quite a few other riders. He's taking his time and taking advice from his minder. Minder's telling him he needs his back wheel over a bit, but he's set off without it. And that was a nice ride. Wayne Braybrook 
Squeezing his way off very gently, or as gently as he can. Just takes a steadying couple of dabs. Steve Saunders there, picking up every bit of advice he can so that he can pass it on to John Shirk, the rider he's minding for today. And Wayne sets off and probably got a three for that. Panicot here, totally messed it up, must have missed his brakes. And this is Dougie. Yeah. Oh, what more can you say? Gandine here again. Very popular with the crowds. A different attack to Dougie's. Taking a lot more time over it. Like he's going to manoeuvre his back end a bit before he goes. He tries to do it, but doesn't make the ends cards. And again, no change from that observer. John Shirt trying to be aggressive up this one. He's wandered a bit offline and tried to go up the hard piece. Not quite good, done it. And then Gandine shows how it should be done. I thought the trial was good today. There was a couple of easy sections, but there were some sections which you either fived or you cleaned. So um, on the last lap I had a five them, but on the other two laps I was riding very well. So. And you, m you must have been very pleased with how you've ridden today. Yeah, very pleased. I'm really happy with the result. I've finished third, um, which is obviously a good place. I mean, obviously, Dougie's won, so that makes it look even better. But I didn't ride well enough to be third, and I finished third. So I'm over the moon, really. And how was the trial today? The trial was very much like an English trial, very slippy, um, a lot of tree roots and slippy banks, that sort of thing. So it suited the English riders very well.